This is how you ask questions properly to be able to set yourself up to be in the position of being their best agent. This is crazy. This is hard to do, Aaron. This, this is what you're good. This is what a listing presentation is. I yeah. swear to fucking God, if you're good at listing presentations, this happens every time. If you don't understand how this works, you're leaving the appointment without problem number two. You half understand logistics yeah, and um, you 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 haven't resolved problem number one because you don't know what questions to ask or what to what to reach. And now if you try to be like, all right, so let's list, sign here. And then they're like, we have to think about it. <laughs> if, if you're, and then you're like, what did I miss? And you're like, no, nothing. I just have to talk about it with a wife. Okay, well, if I drop my commission, mm, no. And then you're like, damn, I thought it went so well. And then you try to follow up with them the next week and they don't answer your phone calls. And they're like, why am I being ghosted? Ghosted. All right, guys. So today we're going to be going over what's going to significantly help you with listing presentations. It's going to help you with buyer presentations. It's going to help you develop a connection better with your client. It's this is the reason why your client will always choose you over anyone that's sold more homes than you. Anyone. It's it's never about that. It's never about how many homes you've sold. It's never about who can present the CMA the best. It's never about real estate. It's about you, who you are, and your connection to that person, okay? So today we are going to learn an advanced line of questions which comes from like, it's an NLP style of hierarchy of ideas that if you understand, it's going to take you the furthest with your listing presentations. So today I wanna, I wanna rapid fire with everyone here a listing presentation. I am the seller and you are the agent and you are going to be asking me everything you need to ask me so that you can complete an entire picture and understand what's going on in my life. Because if you don't completely understand that picture and you push them towards to signing the listing agreement, that's exactly how you get commission breath. Cause they feel like you don't really understand fully what, where, where they're at. And they're like, uh, Colby's not really on my side. He's not here to help me. He's just here for a listing. But if you complete the picture and understand what's going on and their story with, with, with where they're trying to go, they're gonna be like, holy shit, I'll pay 7% to work with Colby because he completely understands me and he knows what I need. All right, so obviously I'll, I'll start it off. You start off with your hellos, right? When you walk in, you, you, you introduce them. And this is all under the frame of leadership, right? Hey, today I'm going to, uh, you're setting the premise. Hey, today I'm going to be um, taking a look at your property and going over exactly uh, what your plans are with real estate, okay? And they're like, okay, we will take a look at the pro around, the pro uh, around the place. All right, so let's assume that we've sat down and you're now asking me about my situation. What's the first thing that you will ask me for? Why are you thinking about selling? Good, good. Why are you thinking about selling? What is that question? What does that question serve? You're asking for motivation. motivation. Good, good, Kobe. So here are the words, but here is the framework and purpose of those words. You're asking for the motivation, okay? And we're just gonna continue along down the entire path and I'm going to give you weird scenarios that you have to find out by asking these kinds of questions, okay? I'm gonna be vague and you have to add, you have to work for it. Do you guys remember that video where um, that old lady was like just giving me little and like just, she was just giving me nothing and I had to ask questions after questions and she was kind of annoyed but at the end we got to a resolution. All right, bye Margaret. Okay. Hey, dude, how did you get all that out of her? I'm gonna be doing that because you're gonna find a lot of people like that and they're not trying to be shitty to you but there's, there's, there's just gonna be times when that happens and you need to be able to understand the full story, okay? So what has you thinking about selling? Um, I'm going to move to, I'm going to move to Washington. Okay, what's in Washington? Great. What's in Washington, okay? Now, the, the framework of that question is specifying the motivation. I have family there that I need to get to. I'll send you to get to Washington. Good. Okay, so now what kind of question is this, guys? I find the problem. Yes, 
it is it is it does solve that purpose, but it's also logistics, which is extremely important to understand. All right. How soon do you need to go to Washington? Um, I need to be there in. I need to be there in three months. What's holding you back? Um, nothing. If there were something, what would the, what do you think that would be? Olga, great job, great job. Um, okay, asking for a problem. Ah, oh, that's a that's a good one, Olga. <laughs> if learning if, from you, you did it really well. <laughs> Could you also attack it like? If the, if your home was to sell in the next two weeks, would you be ready to go? Type thing. Um, would that be a yes? Factor? Yes, that is that is a way. Uh huh. Yes, and there are multiple ways to skin this cat, guys. Um, if there was a problem, what do you think that might be? I need to bring in some contractors and fix some stuff. What things need to be fixed? All of my flooring is damaged. Okay, now we're we're continuing to specify the problem. Because right now, you guys have no idea what the problem is. I'm saying it's nothing, but then Olga specified, and then actually I need to hire contractors. Okay, so now you guys have to figure out why do you need to, why do you need to hire contractors? I think the next thing that I would do is, do you want to sell the house, fixing the floor and make the most amount of money, or you need to make it happen within the next three months and go to Washington as soon as possible. That is fan that's a great way to go, Olga. That's a fantastic way to go, but you don't fully understand the problem yet. So I want to know exactly what's wrong with the flooring because some people need think they need to fix things when they don't necessarily have to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My my whole house flooded. And guys, this is going to happen. Like they're not going to give you that much information and you guys are going to have to keep specifying. What's an important what's an important question that you'd want to know here? What's an important piece of information that you'd want to know about your house house flooding? Where the water come from? Shakira got it. Where did the water come from? Yeah, there could have been a we uh, a leak, something happened with the plumbing, um, the foundation was cracked and let water in. So you have to like see is this a serious huge issue or or what? Where did the water come from? My kitchen sink pipe burst. Okay, did you get that pipe repaired? Yeah. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> yeah, AKA you put some duct tape on it. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. but you don't know. You don't know. I would have asked the seller if they did it themselves or if they got someone else to do it for them. Um, would you ask, is there anything else is there anything else other than this uh, plumbing issue that's stopping you from selling now? All right, so what does this question serve? Colby? I'm just assuming that helps identify anything else that there could be. Yeah, you got it. We're seeking another problem. Yeah, um, I, I, have, uh, I have like five cars in my garage and I have, I have five cars in my garage. Can I ask what's wrong with those cars? Nothing. Okay, then what about the cars is stopping you from selling? All right, so as you can understand now, we're on problem number two. All right, what about the cars is stopping you from selling? Um, I need to, I need to get rid of them. How are you want to get, how do you want to get rid of them? Do you want to sell them or do you just want to have them donated? I want to do neither of those things. How do you plan on getting rid of them? Open-ended. Good. Ask open-ended question, guys. Don't confine them to a yes or no, or neither, or both question. Have them answer it fully. Um, how do you want to get rid of them? I have someone that needs to pick them up. Who needs, who, who needs to pick them up and who will they pick them up by? Do you have a date when they're planning to pick up? <laughs> That's a good one, yeah. Let's, let's do both of those. My neighbor needs to pick them up. Uh, no deadline. Is, is there anything else? Is there anything else stopping you? Yeah, I think so I would other, than, other than Other than the uh, water damage and the cars that didn't get picked up, is there anything else? Now, what does this question serve you guys? Seeking more problems, because clearly you said you didn't have problems and we're- <laughs> Seeking more problems. <laughs> and guys, this is gonna happen <laughs> so problems. much. This is gonna happen so much. They're like, no, we're ready to sell. And then they have like 10 things they need to address. Um, is there anything else stopping you? In this scenario, let's just, let's just go, no. 
Okay. No, that's that's it. Where would you guys take this next? Um, I, I, I probably would go back to the logistics, like why is it three months? Good, good. Because my cousin is dying. My oh cousin my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Some sorry. empathy, right? It's okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, Colby, let's get some participation. I totally understand if Mr. Seller, my cousin, just died too. I'm so sorry to hear that. The last time I talked to someone who wanted to sell and there was an illness in the family, I tried to dig deeper on that and I got hung up on. It's like there's an illness in the family. You know what? Um, over the phone, especially when it's a cold or warm call, probably not the best thing to go about asking what, what's going on there. But when yeah. you're but when you're at the presentation and, and I and I learned this from this from a pretty successful chick agent. And I would have never thought to go this way, but she's like, no, you have to like you have to ask. You have to care. She's like, one time I met a seller who is selling the house because her husband shot himself. Oh my god. And then you could and then she was like, you could choose to like just skim right past that to avoid the discomfort. But I was like, oh my god, what happened? And then that's when they're like, you know, people love to talk about their problems. That's when they start confiding in you what happened. And after you, after someone explains that some, some tragic life changing story and, and the person you're working with understands that situation, you have a leg up on all of your competition because you fully, you understand what like emotional turmoil they're going through. You understand like, you really understand what's driving the sale. So we're, we're in person here, but if you're in person, I would try trying. I'm like, oh my God, what happened? Like, what, what happened? In fact, every, you know what? Every time I've tried that, it went well, especially when you look like you give a shit. So give a shit about that person and their situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Colby, what would you say here? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Give empathy. What did I just explain, Colby? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Guys, keep asking questions and see, okay? So, uh, so yeah. like, just stay tuned, all right? You're gonna, mm -hmm. you're gonna understand why asking questions is so important, okay? All right, so my cousin is dying, so sorry, what happened? Um, car crash. And now my, and now my sister is widowed. Oh snap, whoa, 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 this is a lot. Is there some incest going on here? Wait, what? No, it's my cousin. <laughs> oh, wait. My cousin. Sister in law, is probably. Dying. Sister in law. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so sorry. What kind of car did he crash? <laughs> my cousin died, and now my sister in law is widowed. Or I don't even know. Is this right? My cousin. Oh, fuck it. Brother died, all right? That, okay, that okay. makes more sense, right? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, that would have been my cousin in law. Wait. And once we have, guys, what, once we have everything laid out, it's, this is all gonna make sense to you, okay? Um, car crash, and now my sister-in-law is widowed. What, Colby, what would you say next year? What would it look like if you, weren't, if you weren't able to make it to Washington in three months? This is the same thing, timeline and like price and, and the neighborhoods they're looking at, you have to understand what would, ha like, what would happen if you moved in four months. What will happen? Is it important for you to make all, um, uh, to fix the floor uh, and take, get rid of those five cars? Uh, or is it more important for you to, to, to make sure and be there uh, in Washington as soon as possible? I think that's the question that I would ask. You. You're, you're, but, you're correct. I mean, it takes a really long time to process all this. You're, you're like, correct, oh, this Olga. And Olga, you're, you're throwing me heaters over here. Hang on to that question. You could have you could have uh, asked that now, but let's 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 dive as deep as we can into the logistics. Okay, what would it look like if you weren't be able to make it in three months? I need to be there in three months. So, but what if it took what if it took four months to get you to Washington? I need to be there within three months. Okay, why why is that? I need to help take care of their three year old. Okay, so now you guys completely understand the logistics. We cannot exceed three months. And Olga, that question was perfect. 
Um, would you rather take highest price or move out faster? I feel like maybe we shouldn't frame it as high price versus time to get there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe instead we could say something like, would you rather sell it in the best condition possible or move out quicker? Right. That's, you're completely right, Colby. Would you rather sell in the best condition possible or move out quicker? So uh, yeah, that is still understanding logistics. It's not an urgency? Well, like introduction into urgency? <laughs> um, I wouldn't consider this urgency. Obviously she's gonna say, I'd rather move out quicker and be there in three months or less. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Seller, what would it look like for you if you ended up getting the contractors and the floor is done, but it took three and a half months to do that? Right, and that the is the urgency right there. But this is really yeah. understanding her logistics. Mm -hmm. uh, or move out faster. Um, I need to move out faster. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back to that problem too, because when he says no deadline, neighbor needs to pick up the car, mm -hmm. no deadline. Mm -hmm. We know that there is a deadline, it's mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. So uh, how soon could you have your neighbor come to the vehicle out of your property this is crazy this is hard to do Aaron this, this is, is what you're good. this is what a listing presentation is I yeah. swear to fucking god if you're good at listing presentations this happens every time I swear to you this happens every single time with a listing presentation and if you're not prepared to un if you're if you don't understand how this works yeah. you're you're you're, le you're you're leaving your you're leaving the appointment without problem number two you half understand logistics yeah, and um you 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 haven't resolved problem number one because you don't know what questions to ask or what to what to reach and now if you try to be like all right so let's list sign here and then they're like we have to think about it <laughs> and then you're I'm like okay well what, what did i miss if, if you're and then you're like what did i miss and you're like no nothing i just have to talk about it with the wife Okay, well, if I drop my commission, mm, no. And then you're like, damn, I thought it went so well. And then you try to follow up with them next week and they don't answer your phone calls. Ghost. And they're like, why am I being ghosted? Ghosted. It's crazy. It's like crazy being on the other end because when I sold my first house, I was like in a crazy ass predicament and I interviewed like two agents and I was on that side and that's literally the reason why the first chick, I was like, yeah, she gotta go. Because <laughs> they weren't understanding your issues? No, not at all. Wow. Yeah, guys, um, this is this is why you're getting ghosted. They they know you're not capable of understanding their issues, no matter how many houses you've sold, no matter how well you explain to them this uh, the CMA. They're like fuck, fuck Colby. Mm. He doesn't care. And no matter <laughs> and 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 then if he's like, but Aaron, it went so well. It, yeah, it did in Colby's yeah. mind, but in the yeah. seller's mind, they're like, Colby just cared about himself, and he didn't, of course, that's not true, Colby's fucking great, but he, uh, in this scenario, in this hypothetical, made-up, fairy tale scenario, he didn't, he wasn't asking me, like, he didn't really care about me, and he was just trying to get the listing, and, but, like, an agent would be like, it went so well, I wonder why they're ghosting me. They want you to be the professional and figure everything out. They're not gonna just tell you everything. You have to ask, okay? So now we're readdressing problem number two. What was the, what was the question? How soon can a neighbor come and get the car? Yep, how soon can the neighbor come get the car? Yep, you're continuing to specify the problem. If the Let me speed it up here, because you guys, it seems like you guys understand the concepts of what we're doing, okay? Okay, so you understand the motivation. Logi the logistics is basically a motivation. The problem, you understand all the problems and you have found a resolution for the problems, let's just say. Let's say they're not going to fix the floors and the cars are gonna be out in two weeks, okay? So guys, now you understand their whole picture and story, okay? Every, every piece of the puzzle has been put in. You completely understand their timelines, you understand what they're going through, you understand what's stopping them, you understand everything, okay? Now, and, and this is the second part that people don't understand. Now, they need to completely understand your picture. All right, let me, let me say this again. You completely understand their picture, and now they need to completely understand your picture. 
So what is the what is your picture? Okay, so the plan is to uh, the plan is to what? Get rid of the cars. Uh, be in be in Washington within three months. Be in Washington three not months. Not fixing the floor. No, we're not fixing the floor. Yeah, not fixing the floor. Okay. Getting less money because not fixing the floor. Getting less money. Yeah, I mean that's that's not a plan, but okay. <laughs> I just like to like reiterate, so when you see what this house is about to sell for, we don't have a problem. <laughs> so, so when we get to pr pricing, we'll have to talk about that. Um, okay, let's, let's say you, you settle on the price of seven ninety. dollars Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. Guys, I, I want you to understand this. Shakira, uh, tell me that the price is seven ninety. dollars Okay, um, so are you okay with the price of seven ninety? I was hoping for like eight forty. How much how much do you need to net? I owe nothing on the house, so I, I wanted to I wanted to net eight forty. Would you guys would, gonna run would, into this lot? How would you feel how would you feel if you got eight hundred thousand? That'd be okay. You're okay with eight hundred thousand? Yeah. Okay, so 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 what we do is we can list list you at seven ninety. Wait, wait, keep going, keep going, Lede. Okay. So what we can do? No, 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 no. I'm okay with eight hundred thousand from eight forty. What the fuck? Try ten thousand dollars less. Okay. All right. So eight. You're okay with eight hundred thousand? Are you okay with ten thousand dollars less? Seven ninety. Yeah. I guess I have to be. What's, you sound like a little reluctant. What's that, what's that reluctance coming from? I mean, obvious, good picking up on that. Um, I mean, I wanted 840, but if 790 is all I can get, then. Would you not ask why you want to, or where did the 840 come from? Or yeah, you could ask that, you could ask that. But ultimately, what's important is, I'm cool with 790. All right, guys. So many times people are gonna be like People are gonna be like, oh man, that's way too little and then all you have to be is like, okay Yeah, hey, I it's my job to get you the highest and best price and of course I'd I'd, I'd love to sell your property for a million dollars But are, is 790 a price you could live with and you're testing their boundaries here Can you put it? Can you put that in there if I could have it my way? I'm sorry, Aaron, please you're beginners <laughs> 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 if I could have it my way, I'd sell your home for a million. Mm -hmm. But is this a price you could live with? Live with. I want you guys to understand the hierarchy of ideas. Guys, everything started with super vague as shit stuff. What's holding you back? Nothing. Okay, an inexperienced agent who doesn't understand the hierarchy of ideas, who doesn't understand like advanced questioning, they'd be like, okay, well then let's list. You know, but the advanced agent who understands that, like, the hierarchy of ideas uh, means nothing meant that their pipe burst, their whole house flooded, and they repair, repaired it themselves. Once you understand all of this, and once they understand your plan, like listing logistics, um, you have three months, look, how soon will you be ready? It's gonna take me three weeks to get ready. Okay, well, with closing taking four weeks, uh, one month and it takes about two weeks to sell a home standing on the mar staying on the market we're all in at nine months giving us three weeks of time like you might be able to move um three weeks early is that okay with you and like you have to you have to understand these things now now they completely understand the logistics of the listing timelines all right it's gonna take three weeks. I need you to get ready within three weeks. My photographer, my cleaner, and my uh, pre-inspector is gonna come, do everything, and then we can, we can list the next two weeks, and then it takes four weeks to close. You're gonna have three weeks of a buffer period to, um, like in case the house stays a week longer or we run into complications, um, blah, blah, blah. Does this, all, does this all work for you? And they are completely understanding of your logistics, your commission, your price, that's too low, but it's okay with them. Um, and your plan, they know that you, you completely understand their scenario. 
and they understand completely your plan. You guys are both in complete congruence and understanding of what's going on and what's expected. And you are their favorite agent. This is how you ask questions properly to be able to set yourself up to be in the position of being their best agent. So, yeah. so in essence, you're saying go in there, forget about the listing, go in there asking, you know, oh, tell me more, tell me why is it you're doing, just asking about them, just but forget completely, not completely, but you know, just forget about asking for the listing, just go in there trying to solve the problem, trying to find out their motivation, just why. <laughs> Guys, it is not about the listing. It is not about the listing. It's about them and their, and their situation. It's, it's not about selling their house. It's about the problems they're facing. Yeah, Miguel, you're right. It's not about, and it's the same as buyers. Like, it's, it's not about the square footage of the house. It's not about, it's, it's not about that stuff. It's like, how big is your family? Oh, you guys all play sports? Okay, sounds like you need a, like a, you guys all play soccer? Okay, you guys want like, grass or turf in the backyard, it sounds like. Okay, oh, uh, well, you're about to have another kid on the way? Oh, wow, it sounds like we need another bedroom here. Oh, it's an infant. Okay, so you're probably gonna want a bedroom that's close to your master bedroom, or that's on the same level, so that you're able to hear what's going on at night if anything happens, right? Like, it's, it's about their situation in life. It's not about the house. And, as, and if you understand that, you're, you don't, you're not a robot anymore. You're like a human that understands them and they're gonna work with you forever. What a value packed video that was. That was a 30 minute long video. If you made it to this point, you're obviously my favorite, pre you're, you're, you're obviously my favorite person in the world and I wanna know who you are. So in the comments down below, write in, wow, I'm a listing god now. So I know who you are. Real quick, big news. I moved to Austin, Texas. I moved here uh, mid-October, I left Seattle. That's where I, I've never left Seattle. I left my friends, I left my family, I left my business. And I'm starting from scratch in a brand new state that I don't know. I don't even know, I don't know what those buildings are. I don't know the school districts here, I don't know the restaurants here, I don't know, I don't know, I know like three people in this entire state. I'm starting from scratch. And I'm going to be documenting the process and the progress, the journey, so you guys can all watch it. So make sure you subscribe, like the video so that the video gets picked up and more people can watch. Because if no one's watching, I'm not going to do this. So let's make sure people are watching. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your friends that this crazy dude left his, left his hometown because the mandates were too crazy. And the people are weird. God, I, I, there's this, I live on, I live in the seven apartments on 7th Street. Uh, my buddies live in this building and they convinced me to move into this building. And like right down below, I, I live like, I live on 7th and 6th is where all the stuff is going on. So like right downstairs, there's a bar called Buford's. Man, that place on the weekends, like it, it gets so crazy. It's packed with beautiful girls, it's amazing. I, I, love, I love it so much here. Way better than, way better than Seattle. What was I doing over there? Man, I'm, I'm glad um, those mandates happened because I would have never left that town. Anyway, anyway, if you, live in, if you live in Austin, if you live in Austin, DM me. I'd love to know more than three people in this entire state. If you want to work on your listing skills, your communication skills, your cold calling skills, and become a cold calling king, shoot me a DM. I'm here to help. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.